This was the tie that promised most from the second round of the Cup, with Caledonian Thistle and Livingston both vying for promotion at the top of Division 2. It was the visitors who started strongest and had more ideas up front, but it was perhaps a harsh decision from referee Stephen Caney who ruled that Cali Thistle's Andrew Allen had handled in the box. The Inverness players protested but to no avail, and with less than 10 minutes gone, Livingston's David Bingham made no mistake, stroking his penalty past Jim Calder. Jubilation for the visitors then, but honestly there was more fervour than finesse in this game, and while Livingston continued largely in control, Cali Thistle did start to threaten, enjoying their best period of the match as the first half drew to a close. And just on the stroke of half-time, the home side were rewarded when big defender Mike Teasdale pushed through the equaliser, off Livingston's keeper Neil Alexander and then into the net off the head of the unlucky Alan McManus. So honours shared at the break, though the crowd of nearly 3,500 weren't exactly being treated to classic cup tie football. At both ends, play was marked by the chances missed rather than taken. In possibly the best move of the match, Livingston youngster Mark McCormack showed exactly what a solo run should look like and fired through a perfect shot to make it 2-1 to the Almondvale side. And from there, to be frank, the tie tailed off, leaving Livingston to look forward to the third round and Cali Thistle now having to focus back on their league title race. It's the first time I think I've been involved in a game that there's not been an underdog. And to be fair, we scored when we were on top and they come back into the game 15 minutes before half-time and they scored the great, make it one each. So we've gone into half-time, we've had to reorganise, uh, we've come out in the second half and uh, we've lost probably two of our most important players, the two white players, Derek Fleming and Charlie King and uh, we've had to reorganise and, and in fairness to the boys who's come in and they've done ever so well. I mean, I don't know how I'm pick him out, but young Craig for the day was outstanding. I thought he was different class. And Mark McCormick's goal was a stunner, wasn't it? Oh, it's great, one-on-ones, you keep him. I mean, he, the lad thrives on making of things. And in fairness, he works hard and he deserves his chance and he's taking it today and uh, scored his goal and it's magnificent for the lad.